What's up, everybody, and welcome to Real Time for the Real Everyday Movie Fan. I'm Ryan Murphy, and I am giving you today my real-time reaction. I don't do a lot of these things, but I made an exception, okay? I'm giving you my real-time reaction to the new trailer for the Veronica Mars Revival series coming on to Hulu. Excited for this. I'm a Veronica Mars fan, so don't really know what is what, what else there is to say. I'm, you know, I'm not going to bore you with the details. Let's just watch the trailer. I spent my first 19 years trying to escape my hometown, made it out, then after a decade away, decided it needed me, and I needed it. Line one, Ms. Mars. Thanks, darling. Uh, coffee. Black. You're home. I'm back for extended leave. Tis I, your king of spring break! <laughs> Mystery. That's all I want, Mr. Mars. Find out who planted that bomb. Veronica, Logan, meet my friend and associate, Clyde. Yeah. We go back to when I was on the inside. You know, Veronica here's a legit PI. And you wouldn't think it by looking at her. But you know what they say about small packages? That you've got one? <laughs> what? Follow the money, Mars. And speaking of money, this is 1134. There's something about him that's off. But does he strike you as a mass murderer? They're guilty of something. I'll look into it. You ready? Let's do it. It's possible that these bombings are part of a campaign to destroy its town. You might be dealing with a serial killer. I'm starting to think that maybe it's time to hang it up. So what's the destructive gene in your relationship? I think it might be me. Consider me in your corner, Keith. Unless you're going against me. from the car, would ya? Something wrong? Nothing a strip club can't fix. Excuse me? What? You're always saying we don't do enough father-daughter stuff. Oh, man. I don't know if the, this is gonna crash the sound on the new mic, but... Whew, I am looking forward to that. That is... Veronica Mars is back, people. Veronica Mars is back. I mean, it's they're giving us all the goodies. They're giving us fans everything we want. You know, we got Logan and Veronica. We got, you know, uh, Dick. Dick showing back up. And back to his, all, all the same old antics. We, I mean, yeah, Weevil's in there. Now, the last time we saw everyone was obviously the movie, and that left things in sort of a weird place where it was like, you know, Weevil was starting to go back down a dark path. And... Um, you know, I, hopefully they resolve that. Hopefully they resolve a lot of stuff. And I really like the fact that this is eight episodes, so it's not going to be super drawn out. Obviously, the, the show, when it was on um, WB and UPN, did a really good job with that, um, extending something out over 22 episodes. But I'm really am interested to see something kind of be played out in brief, but longer than the movie. They got some great guest stars. They got J.K. Simmons and Patton Oswalt. I mean, they're this it looks amazing. It looks awesome. It is just everything Veronica Mars should be from what we've seen um and you know given the fact that these guys gave us two out of three great seasons on television we can hope um but yeah i want to i definitely want to see that i want to i want to see yeah, yeah okay logan and veronica are having relationship relationship issues obviously that's going to happen i mean like you don't want to just be lovey-dovey and that be you know no conflict there but i hope they don't break them up again because like how many come on there's a limit, <laughs> you know, so just just keep it going. You can throw a little strife in there, but just other than that, like, there's, I don't want it to get too repetitive. And, you know, I don't know. We don't know how much longer the show is going to be on. It might be on one season. It might be brought back for two or three. It might be a big hit. Who knows? But, you know, we'll see. Uh, that'll do it for me, folks. I'm very excited for the Veronica Mars reboot. Uh, let me know what you think. Leave your comments in the section below. And as always, thank you for keeping it real with real time.